What's happening everybody? Thanks for tuning in today. So I just got off work and nasty, dirty, sweaty still, but I have a special guest here today and it's kind of a funny story how I got this guest here today. So I was on my lunch break today and I'm standing there, you know, just thinking, kind of daydreaming and all of a sudden I bump into a judge and I'm like, you know, my bad, my bad, my fault. So we get to talking and come to find out he enjoys guns too. So I was like, you know, I'm sitting there and I'm thinking and I was like, you should come out to the range with me today because I would like to go shooting with you. So one thing led to another and I have him here today. So do you guys want to see him? Do you guys want to see this judge? Let me introduce you to this judge. Boom! The Rossi Circuit Judge. Look at that. <laughs> did you see what I did there? Did you see what I did? I bumped into a judge. He likes guns. And you should come shooting with me today. That's uh, pretty clever, I think. <laughs> what? Not, not funny? Okay. All right. All right. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. Do what? Just shoot already? All right. All right. Well, I thought it was pretty funny, but I guess not. Okay. All right. I'll shoot. Okay. Okay. Rossi Circuit Judge. Now, this is just the Ro I guess there it goes. Alright guys, like I said, we are shooting the Rossi Circuit Judge. Now, this is just a bigger version of the Taurus Judge, the little revolver that everybody knows about. Um, this one also is with Taurus. Right there is their stamp. Um, right off the bat though, What's kind of cool about this gun is that it shoots two different calibers. It is chambered in two different calibers. One is 410 and two is 45 Colt. Now, what's neat about that is, is you don't have to change the barrel out, you don't have to change the cylinder out or nothing like that. It all stays just as you guys see right here. When you buy this gun brand new, it comes with two different chokes and a tool, a little T-handle tool that I'm about to show you that comes with it. Now, what you do with that is, de deter or depending on what round you want to shoot, is what choke you put in. So, this right here is the tool. As you can see, it's got little grooves all around. It looks like a spline. A um, little T-handle. And this is one of the chokes. Now, the chokes are different inside here. One is smooth, and one has the grooves, just like you see, that looks like splines. Now, what you do is, is you just put whatever choke that you want that that's going to correspond with what rounds you're going to shoot. So if you're going to shoot 45 Colt or slugs out of it, you would put one or the corresponding choke that goes with that, which is a smooth one. If you're going to shoot shot out of it, like 410, you would put the one that has the ribs. So this one right here. Now, all you do is obviously you want to make sure that the gun is not loaded. As you guys can see, the cylinder there is completely empty and the gun is not loaded. So what you want to do is, is like I said, make sure it's not loaded, and you stick this tool down in there, just like that, and you back the choke out. Now, if you guys notice, I am going to the right. This screws in with left-handed threads. So when you go to put it in, instead of going to the right, you go to the left because it's left-handed threads, so it's backwards. But all you do is you screw this choke out, just like this right here, and there is the choke. You can see this one's smooth. Let's get your threads back here, and it just sits right down in there. So, in the beginning of this video, when I was shooting, that is what I was shooting, was 45 Colt. Um, which today, we are gonna be shooting 45 Colt, 410 slugs, and some shot, 410 bird shot. So, let me grab my key here real quick, or my tool, and we will screw this choke back down in there and make sure it's nice and snug. Now. With this, just like anything else, you don't have to man up on it and tighten it just as tight as you can get it and stick it in a vise and cram down on it. You don't have to do that. Just get it down in there, snug it up, and that's all you have to do. So let's take a few shots with it real quick. 
And like I said, we're going to shoot some 45 Colt um, right now. And then we'll switch over to some slugs and then some shot. And we'll talk about it some more. So let's take a few more shots and see what we can hit. So as I said, we're shooting 45 Colt right now. So we're going to shoot about 10 rounds. And then um, we'll talk about this gun a little bit more. And we're out. So let me load up a few more here and uh, take about five more shots. And then uh, we'll see what we can't discuss. So I hope you guys, while I'm sitting here loading, I hope you guys are having, and gals, a wonderful day wherever you may be or night, like I always say, whatever time you uh, are watching this so I'm loaded up here let's take some more shots and see what we can't hit that one water jug won't blow up I guess there it goes there's that one flip that one up smoke that one And we're out. It is warming up out here. I'm sweating, if you guys cannot tell. I've sweated all day. It's been a hot, humid day here. But, back to the gun. On the bottom of the recoil pad, it has Rossi right there. And on the bottom of the stock, it has Rossi. Uh, it's got a nice, thick rubber recoil pad. This rifle doesn't have much recoil to speak of, but it does kind of aid in giving you a little bit extra length. Um, the stock is a dark brown color, which you can get this gun in a lot of different configurations. They make this same color, I guess not a lot, but there's a few. Uh, same color, but like a stainless model. They make an all black model. They have different types of stocks. Um, moving on up, the stock. If you look at this stock, it's kind of a funky looking stock. Basically, if you was to cut it off right here, looks just like the pistol grips on a pistol. Uh, so you can get a good purchase on this rifle. I have average size hands, but I think if you had small hands or large hands, you'd still be fine with this because you can really get it in your palm there and, and wrap your hand around that and get a good purchase. The hammer on this, on the bottom of the hammer, like right there, is where you insert your tool to lock this gun up so it's not functional, not, not functionable anymore. Um, sometimes that's a turn off for some people, sometimes it's not. To me, I really don't care because if I do use it, it's going to be very, very few and far between. On top of the hammer, it's got good serrations, little knurls right there, so you can get a good purchase, good grip when you pull this uh, hammer back, because you can shoot this gun single action or double action. Now, on the left side of it is where your cylinder release is. Open that up, which holds five shells of 45 Colt or 410, whichever you prefer to put in there. The trigger on this, the double action trigger, is, is it's pretty smooth, I think. Um, is it the best? No, but it's smooth. The single action, I think, is pretty nice, too, for what this gun is. This gun, to me, is, you know, if you're going to go out and plink, it's a very nice gun. You could take this gun hunting. It's not like I'm going to be sitting here and trying to get really tight groups at 1,000 yards with this rifle. So the trigger really doesn't bug me. But that would have to be up to you guys. The cylinder, if you guys look right here, there is like a little guard you can see right there. And on the other side, it also has one, which this side on the left side opens up with a cylinder. That is to protect you, the shooter, from gases or uh, powder or whatever wants to decide to come out of the side of this. It directs it away from you, the shooter. Um... The top of it already comes with a rail so you can put a scope if you want to put a scope. It comes like that straight out of the box. Some people put scopes. I've seen some have red dots. I just have the regular sights on here, 
which I will zoom in on here. Now, the sights on this are right... Wow, I am just wobbling all over. This thing would focus. But the sights are a three-dot sight. The sights on this is a three-dot sight. It's got two greens in the back and one red up front, which the back are adjustable. Uh, up on the barrel, right here, is stamped Circuit Judge, and on the other side is where your caliber is, 45 Colt and 410. Pretty much, that is really kind of like the overview of this gun. I know a lot of people are curious, or was curious back then. I mean, there's been multiple videos put on this, I'm sure. And like I said, this gun has been out for a while. But uh, of the accuracy. Now, like I said, if you're out here plinking or going hunting or whatever, I think it's pretty accurate. It'll get the job done. Uh, defensively, whatever you guys want to do with this rifle. But like I said, if you're going to go out to five, six thousand yards and you're trying to use this thing, I mean, come on. But as far as like what we're doing right here today, or taking it hunting or something, it'll be just fine. As long as you can shoot and you don't move when you're on the target when you pull that trigger, wherever you have that barrel pointed is where it's going to send the round. Uh, so yeah. Now, I don't think there's much more that I can talk about about this. So we're going to spend the rest of this time shooting. Alright, so we're kind of losing light here. don't know if you can tell, but we are. And uh, so this is what we're shooting here. This is the slugs and the 45 Colt that I am using for today. And this is the shot that I'm about to use. But anyways, I've got a different choke in there. I just screwed in a different choke. And we're going to shoot some shot and see what that does. And then we may end up putting the slug thing back in there and shooting some slugs. So let's just see what we can do. All right, so didn't realize that the camera was off, so I already shot some of my clay targets. But I may put some of those more up, or more of those up. I got one over there to the left. We'll finish with these water jugs, hit these little metal targets, and move on. So we'll shoot these double action. And we're out. So, you guys didn't see that one was filled with something special. A little bit of blue stuff. But, like I said, when you're done, they just get stuck. Right there. Right there beside the stock. I don't know. Kind of annoying. But all you do is just pull them out. And then I rotate it over. And then take the remaining two. So, anyways... Like I said, we're running out of daylight here. This camera kind of picks up the light a little well. But other than that, we're running out. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Smash that like button. There will be more to come. As I said, everybody, this was the Rosser, or Rosser, Rossi Circuit Judge. Pretty sweet shooter. If you guys haven't shot it, you should go out and shoot it. It is a very nice gun. Um, I think they go, or was going for like, a little over five or something like that hundred dollars um, Or they may be cheaper. I don't know. I can't remember. It's been a while since I bought it I think MSRP or on their websites like 600 bucks or something like that, but uh, It's a neat gun perfect for the kids if you want to get them started in 410 45 Colt doesn't kick Hardly any recoil. It'd be a nice gun for them to get started on um, Other than that, I hope you guys enjoy the video I don't think there's anything else to say I don't know. We are going to Texas this weekend, though, so I will bring, bring you guys along for that. We went to Missouri a couple weekends ago. That vo video will be up here soon. So, uh, yeah, I'm repeating myself now. Um, I tend to do that from time, time to time because I can't remember what I already told you. So, if you enjoyed the video, smash that like button. Like it. Um, and, yeah, I will see you next time.